Welcome to 10 Questions So You Think You Know. Uh, this is episode 8. This will be the first sequel episode, and we are going to do Halloween 2. I just did a like a Halloween 2 love fest on my last DD Live. Uh, so if you want some more Halloween love, definitely go back to there. Might be a couple of uh, uh, questions that I use on this quiz. So it's too late now, right? But if you already watched that, then hey, hopefully you paid attention. But I'm excited for this one, as you can tell. And if, if this is your first 10 questions, so you think you know what it is, is it's 10 questions, multiple choice, uh, and I'm going to read them to you along the way, and you'll pause after the question, before the answer, and at the end, just tally up your score, post it in the comments, let us know how you did. Uh, don't post the answers, though, okay? Just post how you did. Uh, and go back and do the previous seven episodes that I've done. Uh, I'll put the playlist right here, so you can check that out. A lot of fun. And if you don't do that well, at least you learn some good horror trivia. And before we get going, be sure to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. So anyway, guys, good luck. I will see you after the quiz. Question one, what pop song was at the end of Halloween 2? Mr. Sandman? Don't Fear the Reaper? Crimson and Clover? Or Amazing Grace? Answer, Mr. Sandman. Listen to old bud. Question two, at the beginning of the movie, what line does Loomis say to the neighbor? I didn't let him out. The evil is gone from here. He's not human. You don't know what death is. Answer, you don't know what death is. Question three, at the hospital, which character gets killed first? Ben Tramer, Bernard Garrett, Karen Bailey, or Vincent Scarlatti? And the answer, Bernard Garrett. Question four, what director turned down Halloween 2? Tommy Lee Wallace, Rick Rosenthal, Dwight H. Little, or Steve Miner? Answer, Tommy Lee Wallace. I was kind of the logical person to point to for the directing gig, and I was thrilled. It was just, yes, of course, that's a great opportunity, can't wait. Uh, so you can imagine my dismay when the script came back to me and I read it, and I, I just hated it. Question five. Who was confirmed alive in the Halloween 2 TV cut? Bud? Karen, Jimmy, or Frederick? Answer, 
Answer, Jimmy. Question six, who played Michael Myers in Halloween 2? Nick Castle, Tom Morga, Tony Moran, or Dick Warlock? Answer, Dick Warlock. I looked in this office and there was just a desk, a chair, and this mask laying on the desk. Hmm. Owned it, got the thing, and I put it on, and I walked to Rick Rosenthal's doorway, and I just stood there and looked at him. And he said, who are you? I didn't answer. He said, who the hell are you? And I kind of chuckled. I took the mask off and said, hi, I'm Dick Warlock. I'm here for the job of so-and-so. <laughs> Question seven. Which composer assisted Carpenter on the score? Alan Howarth, John Williams, Alan Silvestri, or Bill Conti? Answer, Alan Howarth. At the same time, John Carpenter, in his minimalist score, didn't require an orchestra. So what he was looking for in a person to work with is one, somebody who had all the technology wired, because he never wanted to know about the technology. In fact, a couple times I tried to explain stuff to him, because I don't even want to know. Question eight, which is a tagline on the Halloween 2 poster? Death has come, more of the night he came home, the night he came back, or evil never dies. Answer, more of the night he came home. From the people who brought you Halloween, more of the night he came home. Halloween 2, there is no place to hide. The boy in the hospital for biting into a razor blade was dressed as a what? Clown? Ghost? Pirate? Or cowboy? Answer? Pirate. Question 10, which character does Michael Myers lift off the ground with one hand? Janet, Bud, Jill, or Karen? Answer, Jill. All right, guys, how'd you do? I have a feeling that a lot of you guys did better on this one than in some of the previous ones because The Shining and surprisingly Alien were really tough. So uh, 
Uh, I think we eased back on you a little bit on this one, but uh, I'm curious to see how you guys did. I did throw some nice doozies in there for you that might surprise you. So post in the comments, let me know. Also, as always, post requests for future episodes. Uh, you know, thinking outside the box. I wouldn't mind doing uh, like a newer movie like It Follows. That should be coming soon. But, uh, you know, thank you so much for all the great feedback that I hear about this series. It seems like you guys are really enjoying it. And you get to stretch your, your horror brain muscles a little bit. Does that make sense? Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks, where we talk horror all day and every day and on Fridays. We do free for all Fridays. Follow me at Drum Dumbs on all my socials. Support me on Patreon. Buy me a coffee. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Rum Dumb out.